New Warriors, my name is Kim Gwynn, the new principal at Wawasee High School. Welcome to a new and exciting school year. As you plan for your new educational adventure, I would like you to plan ahead and think about your goals for your future. What do you want to do? What do you want to be after you graduate from high school? Here at Wawasee, we provide a variety of offerings in academics, career and technical education, clubs, and athletics. I encourage you to explore many of our unique course offerings and get involved in our clubs, extracurricular activities, and athletics. If you have any questions or you need any guidance during your time at Wallace High School, please feel free to contact any of our offices, guidance, CTE, athletics, or administration at any time. Have a great school year, Wallace Warriors. Welcome students and parents to the 2016-2017 school year. The guidance department would like to take a few moments to remind you of a few important items to help this school year be a successful one for students, teachers, and parents alike. With the rollout of one-to-one -one devices, the guidance department is moving important information to the school's website. Please visit the guidance link on the high school webpage for links to financial aid, career planning, college advice, study tips, and many other items. In addition, students will be expected to check their email daily to stay in touch with important information from teachers, staff, coaches, administrators, and counselors. This may be new to many students, but teachers and staff will assist in this transition. Parents and students, please use our school information system, Skyward, daily to monitor academic progress. Parents make it a habit to contact teachers with questions and concerns. The best way to make sure you reach a teacher is through email. Teacher emails are available on our school website and through Skyward. At any time, feel free to contact the guidance office at 457-3147 or visit the guidance website to email school counselors. Students will be expected to email their counselor to set up an appointment or use the contact form on our website. Our counselors are Mrs. Sarah O'Connor, student's last name starting with the letter A to G, Mr. Paul Meyer, student's last names R to Z, and myself, Kevin Taylor, students with the last name H to Q. Our guidance secretary is Mrs. Thomas, and our scholarship secretary is Mrs. Williams. For daily updates and advice, please follow us on Twitter at Wallacey Guidance. Thank you. Hi, students. My name is John Everingham, and I'm the new CT director here at Wallacey High School. As I begin my first year, I could not be more excited to be a part of the Warrior family. As many of you know, the Wawasee Area Career and Technical Co-op offers students cutting-edge, rigorous, and relevant career and technical educational opportunities. CTE and vocational education prepares our students for a wide range of high-wage, high-skill, high-demand careers. The mission of Wawasee Career Center is to ensure that students gain knowledge, skills, and abilities needed for success in post-secondary education and in economically viable career opportunities. Hope you're looking forward to a great school year. Please don't hesitate to come visit us down in the CTE office near door 17. Have a great year. Hi, my name is Steve Perrick. I'm assistant principal at Wallace High School. I want to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about attendance and discipline. The attendance policy is that students are in school each day unless they are ill or other reason that is listed in the handbook that is considered excused. In any case, a parent or guardian notification is required. Please be aware of the dress code also at Wawasee High School. We do not allow any clothing that is rude, displaying any drugs or alcohol, or offensive to the standards set by the administration at Wawasee High School. Discipline procedures are spelled out in the handbook as well. Please take the time to read through those procedures pertaining to discipline. Being on time to class, respectful behavior towards peers and teachers, as well as other adults in the building, is important and expected. Those students who take prescription medication are required to store it in the nurse's office with the school nurse. Dispensing any medication is the duty of our school nurse. No medication should be in possession of any student at any time. You are young adults, and we expect you to act accordingly. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to seeing you on August 11th.